Hello everybody, my name is Michael Langhans. I'm a, a formerly lawyer and now a YouTube activist and journalist. And this is my YouTube channel. Welcome at ACTV News. I will tell you about a criminal case yesterday at Nuremberg Court. The two people uh, who are called victims or attackers are colored people who went into a case of police violence in my opinion. The main case was that at that very day two years ago one son of one of the two persons at court yesterday and the brother of the other was uh, attacking someone in the house floor. After that situation disappeared, the neighbor called the police and the police went to the house uh, rumbling into the rooms of the two at court yesterday and what happened there is discussed very different, differently. The two at court said that police violence happened, that they were yeah, kicked and slapped and attacked by the police without any necessity. So the, the police said it was the two in the rooms who used force against the police officers. What had the court to do? It's the judge's main job to discover the truth. But what is the truth in a case where the only persons available as uh, persons able to speak about what happened are victims and persons who were involved in the case? I will tell you what they said in the next video. Here we go again. What the police said at a former day was they rang the doorbell, asked to go in because um, they saw the attackers inside and while searching the rooms of the family they were attacked by the mother and the brother. What the two victims or attackers said was that police rang the doorbell just said they want to speak to a son of the family. The mother called her son and immediately the son was attacked by the police force. We think that the police uh, didn't know that the son called wasn't the one who attacked in the room floors. It was just a mistake by police but went to a case of, in my opinion, heavenly violence of the two officers, four officers. The main thing in this situation is that uh, the only witnesses are involved in the case. And as you all know, in most times the governmental powers believe in their forces. So whatever the police said is the truth and whatever others say is not the truth. So the police officers neglected to speak bad about the mother as a nigger whore and such unspeakable and unbelievable bullshit. Nobody, neither judge nor a governmental attorney, ask anything about these words. One key witness is the neighbor who called the police because he neglected two important things. First, he neglected to say he told the police to search into the family's rooms. And the other thing is he neglected and that the police officers took the brother, bring him to him, so he can say it was the attacker or not. In both cases, 
the police officers told different aspects. They told that they brought the brother to the neighbor to identify him and they said um, it was he who said perhaps the other son is in the rooms. It's clear that the son was never in the rooms. He was at the roof. One other key aspect is that one of the police officers left the duty and is now studying. He is the one who could not remember the same facts as the police officers. So, did all police officers speak about their witness hearings? I think so, because, in my opinion, it's after two years not able to, well, know all these facts four times while you were in a late night situation trying to, well, uh, find a knife attacker. The government attorney ask for a jail for the mother and for yeah a money fee for the brother the both defenders ask for letting him out without any punishment because they didn't do anything one important opinion is that one defender, Dr. Schneider Ada Emensa, told that in his opinion the criminal punishment called Widerstand gegen Vollstreckungsbeamte, uh, using force against police officers on duty, is against German constitutional law because it makes German officers always to witnesses while there can be attackers. With very good arguments, he told the court that he, as although colored person, has seen such situations against himself also. Lying officers or officers who were slamming him, him to earth while he just walked to the German constitutional court. It's an incredible situation and unbelievable, especially in a city like Nuremberg, where the Nuremberg trials after World War II settled. It's unbelievable that, in my opinion, in the mind of most people, nothing has really changed. Therefore, the two at court yesterday spoke with her last words to the judge telling him what happened and yeah, showing especially that they were afraid hearing such things in a German police of this mouse and nobody or the other officers speaking against it. Especially because the older victim or attacker is 62 years old when all these happened two years ago and never did anything with uh, yeah, heavy punishment or slamming, attacking or something like this, it's unbelievable why this nice person should ever hurt a police officer. Sure, she uh, bite into one officer's stomach because uh, she didn't get anything to press again because she was so pressed against his body. But uh, what happened there was no uh, attacking force on the mother. It was uh, where she was forced to. When the judge re-entered the court for uh, telling the people his decision, he almost forgot to speak in the name of the people. I mean, it was a prediction of what will happen because what he called for is not what the people want to. He forced the mother for a financial punishment, 150 day setups, uh, 20 euro, 
and the brother to 50 a 20 euros. The people at the court were not liking it and uh, they called for a misjudgment. He immediately uh, told the people when they will continue saying anything he will uh, clear the courtroom. I mean this shows that he was not able to discuss his decision and especially not able to bear the burden of his job. It was clear that some of the colored and other people there watching the case would not be like his decision. But if he believes in what he said too, I don't understand why he wanted the court to be cleared when someone else will say anything against his ruling. I mean, nobody said bad things about the judge. Uh, if this would have happened, I would understand what he mentioned, but it was not, you know. So, uh, he said he will believe in what the police officer said, because all the photos of the wounded so-called attackers, uh, the mother and the brother, uh, will not connect to what they told about heavy police violence. In my opinion, what he said is not the truth, because uh, when he wants this as a main ruling aspect, he needs a forensic um, hearing of an expert, because only an expert can say if what was told matches to was what's seen and diagnosed. But he, the judge, not as a medical profession person, thinks he is able to do this speakings because he is the judge. Well, it was a bad day in German uh, law history because the officers uh, were as always speaking the truth and the others are lying and these others are black people. And these others were, well, handled like shit, in my opinion. The brother was forced to, well, get naked for the craft in front of uh, several police officers. I don't think these things should happen in Germany after 1945 again. After the ruling, the black people were traumatized. Uh, you, you could see many tears in women's eyes because all of them have seen such violence or words against colored people and their own. Nobody could believe in that a judge would always believe in what officers say. Even when the judge says it, it's not true because he just looks into what they say and what they not say. Uh, and compare this and comes to the conclusion that the victims uh, or attackers uh, made more, mistake, more mistakes. He forgot that the police officers are professionals who always do these things, write it down and re-read it again before going to court. In my opinion, it's a dark hour of German history, as I told you before and many black people were traumatized after leaving the courtroom of Nuremberg. Most of them said they will not allow their own siblings to have white people as yeah, husband or lovers. I understand why they react in that way, because it's not our duty to speak about racism, we as not colored people are not able to understand what happened and what happens to these colored people. If you ever have seen such scenes in Germany also, please send me your videos or statements or if you are interested in Skype interview, call me via activenews.com. Yours sincerely, Michael Langhans for activenews.com.